Shalom. Satan is not going to let this word from going out. Through the spirit of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai, Ba'asham Rakar Kodash, Satan is not going to stop this word from going out. This is my fourth attempt of doing this video. Fourth attempt. So through the spirit of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Rakafe Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash. Give double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, our true spiritual teachers who rule well over us. Peace and salutations to our brothers pushing his truth throughout the four corners of the earth, risking their lives week in and week out to feed the true flock of Israel, the lost sheep of Israel, because we are all once there and time is running out. Shalom to our sincere brothers and sisters, fearing and trusting and believing and patiently waiting for our Messiah to return. Death to this world. All praise and glory is forever due to our Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh Shai. This is the year 2021. The hasting of the coming of the Lord. And if you're still continuing in doing as you please, not following the laws, statutes of commandments, and we know for a fact that it's not the laws that is going to save you, it's the faith. It's the faith. The faith that Yahweh Sham Yahushai is going to deliver us out of this evil, wicked rulership, this kingdom. Now, this is an abominate, this is not funny. This is not something to laugh about. Two grown ass people laughing over this. That's why the scripture says, you know, pray not for these people. Lord willing, I get out in a minute. And that's why, you know, our Lord is so merciful. And he says, according to the scriptures, that he will not return until everyone has heard. So when Yahweh Shai returns, no one, no human being under the sun can turn around and say, I didn't know. I did not know. That's what we have to keep on. That's why the laws are meant to be kept, right? The laws are not done away with because this is a major, major part of the law that you must not eat abominable foods. And like I said before, we are all once there. But when you've heard not to do a th a such things, according to the scriptures, you must strip that away, straight away. There's certain things that we, it took us maybe a couple of weeks or a couple of months to strip away, but there's things that you must strip away on the dot. Okay? But you've made that, you've made that, 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 that move. You've made that conscious spiritual decision. And you have people there joking. Thinking it's funny. They had 60,000, 60,000 views on this. But when it comes to the real truth, people don't want to know. But when they see that awesome true power returning, then they want to know. And it is too late. It is too late. So I'm going to play this. And <clears throat> it's disgusting. It's just, we are once there, but that's why when, when <laughs> it's spiritual, because when you start to serve the Lord, 
right? You start to go against this world, the things of this world. Because if you love this world, the Lord is not in you. Now the Lord created all beasts and whatever, right? And there's a purpose for the for the for the swine. They are earth cleaners to clean the ground. But it was not meant to eat. So I'll play this a couple of minutes and then Lord will bring up some scriptures. And I'm gonna say again. This is the fourth or fifth time now that I've attempted to start this. I even went as far as 10 minutes into the video and it cut off. And this is the fifth time now, fourth or fifth time now that I have to restart it. There's always something in the way. This is not funny, you know. This is not funny. Man, I've started this video about four times now. And it's just it it just vexes your spirit. It even vexes my spirit before doing it, much less restarting it four or five times. So let me prove it now. Let, let me go to the book of Ezekiel to start with, right? Because you have to eat the whole roll from the beginning of the book to the end of the book. Right. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 1 to 4. Ezekiel eats the roll of the book. And it says, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest. Eat this roll and go speak unto the house of Israel. And when he said eat this roll, he says to read the whole book and digest it. Take it in, understand it. Make it seep into your flesh. Understand what it is saying from the beginning to the end and speak unto the house of Israel. There is so much the prophets can do. So I opened my mouth and he caused me to eat the, that roll. And he said unto me, son of man, Cause thy belly to eat and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then did I eat it and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. And he said unto me, son of man, go get thee unto the house of Israel. It's for, this book is for Israel. It's not for everyone. 
So when you have our people doing things like this, okay, it is disturbing. That's why he said we have to warn the people. And he says again, and speak with my words unto them. That is what the Lord set up men, great men, that has passed the knowledge down for brothers to warn them, basically, because it's all abomination. We have to chip away all those things that we used to do from our past life, which we don't know of, but the present life we do know. Chip away all those things. This is the year, the hasting year 2021, the coming of the hasting of the Lord. And Lord willing, Lord willing, he comes back very soon to help us. To help us. Baba Kasha, Yahweh, Baba Kasha, send your son back. Yahweh Shai, please soon to help us. Because this gets us so vexed. We are so vexed. And we have to see this and be around this. We know what to expect from Esau. But our own people. That's why the scriptures we must not pray. Baba Kasha, let me get that, Lord willing. Let me get that quickly. In Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 7 verse Seven, where am I? Verse 16. Straight to the point here. Therefore pray not thou for this people, neither lift up a cry, lift up cry, nor prayer for them, neither make intercession to me, for I will not hear thee. Neither make intercession to me, for I will not hear thee. And that is telling us. That is telling us and say, listen, do not waste the time to pray for these people. All are we trying, we still have to go there because the thing is, the prophets, right, that teach us or my elders come down. They want to get the blood off their hand. Okay. And we know according to the scripture is going to be a, 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 a set amount of people, set, set people that are going to be saved. You have the 144, you've got the one third, and you've got the two thirds. And the two thirds will get it right, but they will not get it right the first time around. When those nuclear missiles come, you will not be delivered from that destruction. But the one, the one forty-four and the one third would be delivered. So it's all about the elect. But we don't know who are the, the elect. But we have brothers and sisters that are trying and hoping and praying they are in that number. Okay? But you have people out there still running jokes, playing around. Right? Delaying the Lord's coming. And they know about the Lord. Can you imagine? They had 60,000, I think it's about a month old. They had 60K, thick 60,000 plus views. And still they find it's funny. This is funny. This is not funny. When I watched it, so I turned. And I said to myself, Lord, Thawada, did you mean to say that we used to eat these things? And I'll go to the um, Deuteronomy because you have to prove. Because like I said, we all went churches. I could talk for myself. I heard about eating the pork, the swine, but I never knew how serious it was. It's serious business, right? There's even a scripture in um in Isaiah 66, uh, 66 verse 17. Well, let me get that quickly. Isaiah 
66 verse 17. Oh, what are you all watching? I write on it here. Yeah? Verse 17. And it says here, the wicked shall be consumed, right? Isaiah 6, 6, verse 17. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the midst eating swine's flesh, right? And the abomination and the mouse shall be consumed together, saith the Lord, our power, by Sham Yao Shai. Yes? So if you eat these things, you will be destroyed. It says that you will be destroyed. That's why you have the men set up to warn the people. Warn the people. So I'm going to go to the book of um, Deuteronomy. It's, it's just disturbing. It is disturbing. Because we hate this place. Hate it with a passion. And you have these things throwing in your face. No matter where you turn. You've got things on your left, your right. That's why we have to. That's why we need the scriptures to comfort us. We need it to comfort us. Right? The book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 14. Chapter 3. Let's start from verse 3. Thou shalt not eat any abominable things. thing. These are the beast which ye shall eat, the ox, the sheep, and the goat, the heart, and the, the rope. Oh, so what you could do, I'm not going to read it, Lord will, I'm not going to read all of it, but it's in Deuteronomy chapter 14, and start from 1, and it goes to 22. Yeah, clean and unclean foods from 1 to, so it's Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 1 to about 20, 21, all right? And it says here in verse 3 now, the heart and the roebuck and the fallow deer and the wild goat and the pagog and the wild ox and the chamois. And every beast that parteth the hoof and cleaveth the clef, cleft in, into two claws and cheweth the cod among the beasts that ye shall eat. Nevertheless, these ye shall not eat of them that chew the cod of them that divide the cloven hoof as the camel and the hare and the coney, for they chew the cod, but divide not the hoof. Therefore they are unclean unto you. And the swine, here it is now, and the swine, that's why we have to prove all things. And this is in the scriptures, from the beginning to the end, in between, the, 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 it's the whole roll. You have to eat the whole roll. And the swine, because it divideth, the hoof, yet cheweth not the cod. It is unclean unto ye, unto you. Ye shall, ye shall not eat of their flesh. It says it straight out. Ye shall not eat of their flesh, nor touch their dead carcass. Now, when you go down, it tells you about the fish without scales. Okay. But it's just the abomination, what is going on. It is sickening to the flesh, to the spirit. It is sickening. And people do not want to hear. They do not want to hear. It says, pray not for these people. Because what it's all about, is all about being glorified on this side. Right? And you're pushing abomination. And you're not turning to the Lord. So I think that was it. Let me have a quick look. Right? I think that was it.
<clears throat> so there's going to be someone out there, right? There's going to be someone just like myself before coming in the truth that sees this and it might ring a bell to them. It might, it may not. If it's if it's if if the Lord if it's the Lord's will, right? This video here might go to someone, and they might just say, "Wow, I never thought about that because I did not think about that in the scriptures. All I heard about it, oh, you shouldn't really eat it, but you know, pray over it, and you're okay. And there's a lot, there's a, there's an order to this universe. There's an order to this life that we live." Because you might think simply, okay, the Lord made it so he could eat it. No, there are things set up for reasons on this earth. And we on this, we have, we've been put back on this earth, right, to pay out, play out our sins, okay, okay, and to, to try to make it right. So if you're going to be a stiff necked people, and if you're not going to listen and take heed to the word, well, what, what else is there for you? Destruction. Destruction. And it hurts so much that we, we, we are breathing this air every day in this, in this word we hear. And we badly need Yahushai to come back. We badly. We pray for his return very soon. So we can all be right. My mind is not right. My flesh is not right. My body is not right. Nothing about me is right. And I want to get out of this, this kind of body that lets you down every day. This body lets you down every second of the day. Brothers get sick every minute. And, bro and sisters get sick every minute. And brothers, they're, they're sick. And they're preaching the word. And they're still pushing. And you have people out there pushing this abominable abominable kind of food that makes you sick anyway even worse sick and we are trying our best to try to spread the word not to eat such things right believe in the scriptures take heed right and turn to the lord now and repent all right because this joking joking and it's laughing right is not going to get you anywhere there's a time and a place for everything and the time now is to repent. Okay? Hope and pray this is edifying. Okay? And Thawada, Yahweh Shem Shai, that I could get to the end of this, this video because I tried five times. Okay? And Lord willing, I hope it touches somebody out there that to know the seriousness of it. Okay? Shalom.